everyone, my name is Iris Franz, we're talking about room. Today we're going to talk about the balance of payments. So the definition of the balance of payments is actually very simple. It's just a record of international transactions and because we're US residents, so the definition of balance of payments for us will be a record of international transactions between US residents and the residents of the rest of the world. So the residents can be either say consumers, importers, exporters, banks, or even government, say the central bank. And if you remember from your accounting 101, you remember that when you record a transaction, there's debit side and credit side. And eventually you need to balance the balance sheet. And for the balance of payments, it's the same. We use a double entry accounting system. And now, in your mind, I want you to think about when we have transaction, either money flows out or money flows in. And when there is a credit transaction, that means the money flows in. And when there is a debit transaction, that means money flows out. So what are some examples of a credit and debit transactions? So for credit transactions, the first example is merchandise export. So for example, when we're selling our, say, pharmaceutical products to Mexico, and the Mexicans, they pay us for that merchandise, then the money flows in from Mexico to the United States. So that would be a credit transaction. And the second one is the travel receipts. So for example, if there is a European business person traveling via United Airlines, uh, bless his heart, and then um, this business person will have to pay the United Airlines for this uh, travel service. So the money also flows in from Europe to the United States. So that is also a credit transaction. And uh, income received from investment abroad. So for example, if we have a US resident investor investing in say a European bonds or stocks, and when this European firm is paying dividends or interest payment, then money flows in from Europe to the United States. So income received from investment abroad is also a credit transaction. And gift from foreign residents, so if foreigners are giving us gifts, that's also credit transaction. And finally, investment in the United States by foreign residents. So if a, a foreign firm, say if they are a building a factory, an assembly factory, say in Ohio, then they have to uh, pay for the factory. Therefore, money is also flowing from a foreign country to the United States. So that's the last item from our example. And uh, what about some debit transactions? That means money is flowing out from the US to a foreign country. And the first example is merchandise import. So for example, we're buying say shoes and toys from China and we have to pay for these toys and shoes so the money flows out. That's a debit transaction. And the second one, travel expenditures. So suppose we have a US business person traveling via Lufthansa. We know that Lufthansa is a German airline. And uh, um, this US business person traveling via Lufthansa will have to pay for this travel service. So money flows out from the US to Europe. And income paid on investment of foreigners. So for example, if a foreigner, say a European, is investing in Apple stocks, and when Apple is paying stock dividends to this foreign investor, then money is also flowing out from the United States to this foreign investor. And aid given by the US government. Um, we know that US government, uh, we give some military aid to Ukraine and we know President Trump allowed money to flow from the US to Ukraine in September 2019. So in September 2019, um, when the money flows out from our government to uh, Ukraine, there is also a debit transaction because money flows out. And uh, uh, finally, overseas investment by the US residents. So for example, if a US firm is building an assembly factory, say in Osaka, Japan, then um, the US resident will also have to pay for that factory. So money flows out from the US to Japan in this example. So these are um, some examples of credit transactions and debit transactions. 
In the next video, I'm going to talk about the difference between current account and capital and financial account. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.